Yo, what's up with it? It's your boy Noonie. It's Leo in the third house, and we back with another reading. Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is gonna be another pick a card reading. Gonna be asking the question, how do they like to be seduced? All right, so. You know, this could be for like, you know, a romantic interest, but I was really thinking in terms of like generalizing this. So making it as close to like being about uh, even um, seducing crowds of people like mass people or seducing your boss or seducing your children to do what you want them to do. Seducing doesn't always have to do with sex. It does have to do with intimacy, though, and it does have to do with uh Leading people in the direction that they genuinely want it to go anyway. It's just making them more pliable or more um, open to the idea of going in a direction that they would want to go in. You know what I mean? You're just kind of aiding them. So that's the reason I just wanted to do this reading. Just to see what we could get, what could happen. I got the pup with me today. I got a pup. If I would have left her on the ground, she would have yelped the whole reading. So I'm going to be a little inconvenienced with her. And, you know. Um, four piles, you know, take a, take a minute to look at these, all right, um, as always, thanks to those people who be liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, you know, getting involved, I'll be trying to keep up with y'all now, thank y'all though for the support always, um, I think that's it, I don't want to do too much talking, so, pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four, all right, this is a blue lace agate, not blue lace agate. This is a blue agate, blue agate. All right, blue moss agate, blue moss. All right, so I'm gonna get started over here with pile one. I know, pop. Yeah, you're making all this noise. Boom, pile one. So, pile one. How do they like to be seduced? Okay, so this person knows their value, and they want you to know your value as well. All right, this could be a Virgo, this could be a Sagittarius, this could be a Capricorn, this could be a Cancer, this could be a Leo. These are the signs I have here. Ooh, okay. I'm seeing something here too. Okay. So, this is kind of like one of those um, give it your all type of relationships, all right? This is, you know, if this is even a partnership, this person wants you to kind of to give it your all, yet be very fair, very balanced, very easy to get along with. They want you to show your best talents. They want you to be creative. They also want you to be stubborn or have some type of fight. They need you to be courageous, able to fight or able to defend yourself, defend your point and your, and your uh, point of view, all right? Now, this person also wants you to be able to hold things together when things are falling apart. So they need you to be like a rock in the rain, I mean a rock in, you know, in the storm or like a, you know, the captain at sea. They need you to be able to, because you got cancer immersed here, all right? And this is about diving deep, immersing yourself emotionally into situations and intuitively knowing what other people need or what this person needs. So you're gonna, they want you to immerse yourself within them because the energy they need you to be in is the uh, nine of pentacles in reverse, which is almost, which is codependency. So they want you to kind of depend on them. They want you to have some level of uh, needing them in, in your life. You know what I mean? And that is a Virgo trait. That could sometimes be a Capricorn trait and a Cancer trait, maybe even a Leo trait. I know for sure a Virgo trait, but you know, but okay, this could be those signs. Okay, I mean, it is these signs here, but all right. Anyway, um. Oh, you could be a Taurus, and you could be a Scorpio, and you could be an Aquarius. I forgot. All right. But anyway, so the way you need to seduce this person is by sharing long-term vision, showing how you can see yourself in the future. Basically, showing what you're, uh, show, like sharing ideas, sharing your visionary, you know, your visionary dreams. What plans do you have for down the line? So if you see yourself with them explain you know how far do you see down the line like give them give them like a blueprint give them like a line you know give them something to kind of like work towards because you have sweet result sweet results await 
and it's right next to potential as well as time to go in reverse. And time to go in reverse means that when you encounter this person, you know, or when you encounter this situation, that this was something that was divinely orchestrated for you and that you were meant to learn from. So, you know, there's going to be that energy of, of like you need to possibly give them something, some way of learning and you need to fully immerse yourself within them. You need to have a lot of excitement within your life, you know, or be very adventurous, you know what I mean? But you need to have an energy of like childlike wonderment, you know, so you need to be able to let loose because there it seems like they're more um, serious and fair. And it's like it seems like it might take time to get to know these type of people or this person. You know what I mean? So this is someone who's, who's learning to be grateful. So you need to be grateful. All right. And this is someone who may be very emotional, you know, or maybe even secretly emotional, but they're very calming. So you're going to need to be this way as well. You're going to need to be uh, in touch with your emotions because cancer immerse, um, cancer immerse is here and you need a good fucking cry is here. Right. So that's the energy of needing to really connect emotionally with them. That's going to be the big part here. But you need to be able to handle tumultuous situations you know since you need to be able to hold uh, hold things together so if things are falling apart you need to be able to hold things together you need to be able to transition from being free in the world to being dependent on them you know so they don't want you to really be your own person they want you to merge with them like because you got immerse right next to dual and look how they like they really want you to submerge yourself into them so if you really want to uh, seduce this person you need to really like overwhelm them you know what i mean you need to give them this uh this shocking this shocking factor almost you know but it needs to be very emotionally in depth and it needs to have the energy of transitioning into a period where you guys are going to just become one that does sound like pisces energy but you know in this case this is what they want this could be a libra this could be a capricorn this could be a, a sagittarius this could be a taurus aquarius scorpio you could be that sign cancer leo you know, this could be you, it could be them, you know, or this, at least that's that energy because what, what you're needing is to be uh, very giving, all right, very confident, very easygoing and helpful. You need to also be inspiring because that's where I got that energy from like needing to teach because with time to go is about uh, people coming into your life for a reason and the reason they haven't left is because there's a lesson that's meant to be learned here with them. So you need to be able to teach them something. And you need to connect on, you got heart, you got heart chakra here. So you're needing to connect on a heart and an emotional basis with this, with this person or these people. All right. Um, you have to be very expressive. That's what I really get. Mostly it's about expressing and being able to hold down tough situations and knowing how to stand your ground. You know what I mean? Um, if, if, you know, if things are falling apart, you need to be the rock. You know, that's, that's kind of like what it is, like keeping a cool head yet having a strong enough ego that you that nothing can stop you pretty much you know but being very easy to get along with having special talents or, or multi-talented you know being very good with details being very uh this is because this is i get like a lot of earth energy being very practical yet very emotional that's that's where it's at like so you would need to provide some sort you know but there's no thing about gift here but it says sweet results are aware or, or wait so you more so need to be patient but be willing to dive deep with these people or with this person, all right? Because uh, these people or this person is learning to be grateful, you know? And so if you're practicing grateful, this is gonna teach them. This is gonna make them, you know, this is gonna make them allure, give them allure or increase your allure, I'm sorry, increase your allure. You know, this is gonna help them pretty much go forward with you. Um. Yeah, but you need to really be able to carry burdens because I got six of swords. That's transitioning, but that's also moving away with the bur with the burdens and seek of, you know, calmer waters or a calmer situation, you know, just transitioning from rocky to smooth. And so that's what they would need you to really do. That's, that's, that's really it, that these people need you to be solid, emotionally in-depth, uh, really need you to immerse yourself within them. They need you to have that childlike quality or that energy of being able to share. Uh, like when they're feeling down, you need to be able to spice them up, spruce them up, you know what I mean? You need to be exciting, you know? And so uh, you also have to, you know, be able to defend yourself, like I said. Um, just mostly being calming, be very loving because it says everyone deserves my love. So they want you to have a very open heart and be thinking more of others than yourself. You know, with Virgo energy, that is a sign of giving. Some people call it an overgiver. Sometimes they can be, but this is the energy of uh, just 
putting others first, thinking of other people outside yourself, you know what I mean? Being of service to someone outside of yourself, you know, and having a plan for how you intend to do it. So it's kind of like, just kind of like foreshadowing them. You may need to uh, express to them through emotions how you intend to take this, how you intend to take them somewhere, how you intend to make this happen with them. You know what I mean? Because I get like, they really just want like, it's almost like a fairy tale. It's almost like a fairy tale type of uh, situation, you know, because it's very emotional. They want you to be like, a, you know, a savior or a protector. They want you to tell them what it's going to be like down the line. Give them a story. It doesn't have to be like a lie, but it just has to be like a story. Give me, give me a, you know, give me an idea of what this is going to be like. They don't want to be just, I mean, they're willing to wait and to, you know, sweet results. Like, so they're patient people and you would need to be patient, you know, or this is a patient person. So you would need to be patient, but you would still need to um, basically give them the idea, share your dream of where you envision this going, or even share dreams of your other successes or where you in, 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 where you in, uh, see yourself going. You know what I mean? So if this is like a business, then it would be like sharing your ambitions. Where do I see myself in five years? If I'm going for a company or a raise, where do I see? You know, what am I offering? What is my intention years from now, weeks from now, months from now? What is the end goal? What is my end result? And with the sweet results await, that's what you're be like. That's, that's basically what they need you to be able to show them is like, what what happens after all of this? What is what? Is, what am I looking forward to? What happens here? What's going to make me stay? That's what you need to explain to them, and they need you to be fully immersed and fully present and fully, uh, just fully uh, just aware of them in order for you to get their attention, pretty much. So here's your advice. Your advice says, positive change, dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet, it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Okay. So, um, maybe this isn't how you normally are. Maybe you're a little bit more fickle. Anyway, uh, pile one, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house. Did you see anything? What you seen? Why you ain't seen nothing? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Boom, pile two. So. How to? How does this person like to be seduced? So this person could be a Leo, could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. Maybe even a Cancer. What are we going to say? But this person, <laughs> that's for sure. That was easy. That was easy. All right. This person would want you to take care of them. They would want you to take the lead. Or well, no, they would like to take the lead. Because take the lead in reverse means that they would like to take the lead. They just want you to be confident. Hold your vision. You need to have achievements, status. You need to be acknowledged. All right. Between worlds. So you need to uh, basically be between. All right. So now when I say between worlds, this, this needs to be like multifaceted. You need to have more than one way in a sense, you know. So this is uh, between worlds is about transforming old beliefs into new beliefs, you know. So you're a person that needs to be able to uh, change your perspective on things, you know, change the way you've always done things in order to get a new result here with them because they're looking more to be in charge and they're looking for freedom. So in order to seduce them, you may need to take them on trips. You may need to gift them because we have the six of coins here. Um, as well as be patient because we have the seven of pentacles here. So they would like you to be patient. They would like you to be patient with them. You don't have to rush, but they like their freedom. You know, they they have choices. They they have uh, options. So they would like you to be patient with them. You know, make things easier for them. You know, ten of wands and reverse is about uh, releasing tension or releasing stress. So they would like you to be able to release tension, release stress in their life. You know, but they want to take control. You need to have firm boundaries and strong beliefs, strong familiar beliefs, and they need to be similar to her 
or similar to them, him, her. I say her because there's a picture of her here and I'm looking at a her here. So it could be a her currently, but you know, whatever. But they need you to be very confident and they need you to be able to share the light with other people. They need you to make other make them feel like um, that are center of attraction, that are, that are center of attention. And they need you to let them take control. That's the big thing here. Okay. So you need to be able to provide life's pleasures or some type of luxury, you know what I mean? Some type of stability and in a practical sense, because we have stability here, all right? Earth energy. So you need to be grounded. You need to have stability. You need to be firm in your beliefs. Withhold your vision. You need to be stubborn as well. You know, so you could be an Aquarius, you know, this could be an Aquarius, this could be a Scorpio, this could be a Taurus, this could be a, uh, a Quir that's what I say, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, yeah, I said them all, Scorpio, okay, I said them all, all right, but yeah, you would need to be able to uh, hold hold yourself down, basically, like hold your, your stubbornness, hold your ground, basically, if this is what you want, then this is what you need, you know, and when it comes to achievements, you need to be a person who's uh, stubborn with what it is that you want to achieve, if you have a goal, nothing stops you from it. You know, now with this uh, in between worlds, you need to be able to have the energy of uh, understanding vagueness. So you would need strong intuition here because some things may not all the way be spoken about and there'd be, you need the energy of being able to help them heal. So you need to be able to help them heal this energy of, uh, so we got purity here. So, so maybe they have um, issues with like, their, no, it's not. It could be the beliefs, but it's used because Sharon deals with like deep insecurity. So you may need to help them heal their insecurities, you know, because purity is about what lies beneath, you know, what I mean, and sometimes taking taking rest while, you know, things are like hidden. And so here is just about actually healing what lies beneath, which could be the insecurity. So you may need to be able to help them heal in this relationship. And this could be a friendship, you know, this could be a relationship like an intimate partner. But there's an insecurity here that's lying beneath, and they would need you to help them heal that through a relationship. All right, now this could be a friendship, this could be a partnership, whatever the case may be, because you would have you would have to have achievements, and this would help them heal or feel valuable, you know, or feel like they're with a stable partner, and that would make them feel more secure within themselves. All right, so you need to be very inspiring, very sexually alluring, very attractive, because we have Taurus, Libra and we have Leo, and we have Scorpio, so that's all my attractive signs. So you would definitely need to be attractive, all right? You need to be a person who gets a lot of attention. You know, you need to be a person who's reliable and very stable. And I know I keep saying it again, but at the same time, you also need to be a person who's gonna wanna seek their approval. So when they're trying to express themselves to you, you need to be able to uh, take in what they're saying and basically express that, you know, you're trying to make a good impression with them. This, this, because they're dealing with insecurity. And through relationship or through connecting with you, because you have confidence, this is gonna help build theirs up. So they're gonna be kind of living through you vicariously, all right? They're gonna need coins. You know, I said coins. They're gonna need you to take care of them, you know, or not really take care of them, but they need you to gift them. Charity, you know what I mean? Gift, taking time out, value them. Show them that you value them. You know what I mean? They want you to be able to relate with them because the six of coins, or the Six of Pentacles can also be about relating, you know what I mean, like relating with people who, um, you know, because they're going to see you as, as a higher level than them. They want to see you as someone who's, you know, up there. They want you to be a level ahead of them or a level above them. They don't want you to be with them. They want to kind of like climb up to conquer you, climb up to meet you, to rise up to your occasion. They don't want to... I mean, I guess that's how I want to put it. They don't. They want to rise up to your occasion. You know what I mean? Pretty much is, is the energy, because the six of pentacles, rep, you know, represents. Um, did you pee on me? No. The six of pentacles represents uh, uh, that, like you know, the noblemen would come down and they would offer you know coins to the poor, and so that's that energy here. Charity in this case would be about you giving to them in a way that you know, is kind of like adding value to their life because they're, they're going to be suffering from that. This person may suffer from not knowing their own worth, you know, so they're basing it on, at this moment, superficial, superficiality. They just want you to be attractive. They want you to have things. And at the same time, they want to lead. So they want you to be like a billfold, but not really a billfold. I'm just being dramatic right now because that's the Leo energy all up in here. They don't really want you to be a billfold. They just want you 
to be charitable, to be really outgoing, to make things easy for them, to make life easy for them because they're dealing with not feeling good enough because what they're basing everything on at this moment is just achievements, things that would make them look good in the world. And so that's what they would need. That's what you would need to do basically to uh, seduce this person. You would just need to allow them to take the lead, allow them to basically push the situation in the direction that they would like it to go. You know, and through the relationship that you have, it's going to help them heal their insecurities. You just need to be stable and grounded in your own beliefs, having your own level of personal power, be assured of where you want to go, have some levels of achievement or, or you know, financial stability or something in the physical world that could be seen that, with, that has status. And, you know, they would just want you to make life easy. You know what I mean? They, they have choices, and they have options, and they kind of want you to just be, you know, around and, you know, just, you know, a stable, a stable, I guess maybe option or a stable contender or a stable person, you know, um, because like I said, they're dealing with insecurity. So they need abundance. They need a lot of things in order to fill a void here. And, you know, and that's, and that's really what it's about. They're trying to like fill some type of void. They need a freedom. It's not a, it's not, I'm not even going to say it's a void. They just want freedom, you know, and they just kind of want, they just want control. That's really it. They want the control. They want to be the star. They want admiration. They want gifts. They want to travel. You know, they, and there's going to be ambiguity, or what's called vagueness, where you're not really quite sure what's happening. You know, and that's and that's really what it is. And it's because of insecurities. They're not really quite sure. They may not really believe in themselves in the way that they want you to believe in themselves. You know, because for you, you're more like a trophy. You know, what I mean, so in order to seduce them, you would need to be what they would consider as a trophy or something of higher status or value to them. You know what I mean? So if, if you're attracting them, they think that you're higher status than them. You're higher value than they are. All right. So you would need to be very inspiring and very playful because the sacral chakra, you're going to need to match them on the energy of being playful, having a relationship that's very playful, very, very uh, intimate, very um, sensual. Even if this wasn't like a, a sexual relationship, this would still need to be very creative, very passionate. So if it's like sports, you guys would be very, uh, let's say football, football, lacrosse, um, Feel, maybe even feel hockey because you get to bump in soccer, you know what I mean? Um, mm, soccer, M MMA, it's something like that. It's like it's it, like they would want to relate and maybe physical sports, physical activities, um, you know, taking it, you know, adventures. So, like, if it's a friend, you know what I mean? They would still like you to give them gifts, they would still like you to buy things, help them out with the everyday hustle bustle with the ten of wands, help them out with every day, you know. Um, and because they're not going to be quite sure about how to explain things or how to put things out there into the you know. Like you would be a great friend because you have status. And so they would they would just be like the sidekick who pretends that they're just as important or that they're the guy that put you on or they're the girl that put you on. You know, what I mean, they're, these these are I mean, and I don't, I don't mean to say that these people are sidekicks because they're not. But this is how they, the vibe would be like a sidekick where they're, they're really living through other people's success. They have some success. There would be success here, but they will feel like your successes are bigger than them. You know what I mean? And so you would need to trust in your own intuition and your own vision of what you see, you know, because this would this would be a, a relationship that would do a lot of healing on both sides as a healing of insecurity. So I guess that this is what this would be dealing with. It would be touching all insecurities here. Yeah. But anyway, it says it's time to play. Do something different today to shift your routine. So yeah, you would just be, it would just be, it's not, it's not erratic. They want you to be stable, but they would be free flowing, you know what I mean? Moving, doing as they would please, you know? And so you would just kind of need to be around in order for them to feel comfortable or feel like they can open up to you, all right? But they do want, you know what I mean? So they, they would want you to take them and explore and do things, but you don't really get a say in how it, how it goes. You just kind of like, Offer your offer your coin, offer your you know offer your love, and you know that's that be that you know what I mean. So here's what we got. It says rainbow. You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love, and a pot of gold awaits beyond the horizon. All will soon clear. Trust and continue to follow your blessed dreams. You are eternally blessed. All right, so pow two, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Uni, and it's Leo in the third house. I know. Did
Did you see anything? See something, say something. Boom. Pile three. So, pile three. How would this person like you to seduce them? They would definitely like you to talk with love. They want you to speak about commitment, emotional commitment. They want you to have a savior complex or want to save them. You know, just energy of feeling like, uh, like you can make anything possible or make anything happen. They would like you to be that type of person. This could also make you slightly romantic. They really want you to be romantic. They would need you to be a person who's okay with them not being super present. And when I mean present, I don't mean like physically not present, but I mean like maybe not always aware of you. You know, I'm getting uh, air side energy. So this could be a Gemini. This could be a Sagittarius. This could be a Pisces. Um, this could be a Virgo. This person would need you to be present though. That's really the big thing because they may struggle with being present. All right. And surrendering from being inside their head because we have thinking here. So they would need you to be able to help them get outside their head and recognize that love is here in front of their face. You know, with this uh, be, be here now and with love all around, you know, even if this isn't love in general, this would be still, they need you to be around to recognize that they can trust, that they can feel safe. All right. This person is dealing with uh, commitment issues. They don't know how to surrender or relax from control. <coughs> you know, so they would need you to be very passionate. This would be like, this person would probably connect with you more in a sexual manner because this is a sacral chakra. This is kind of like the last pile where uh, they were more like sexually based or creative base. You know, it's a sacral chakra. So this is active action, passion, getting things done, drive, desires, goals, pulling in the things that you really care about. This is what you would be meeting with them on in order to seduce them. All right. Now, this would be something you would need to help them process information, process transformations. You know, so things that they're not quite sure about how to get that may not add up to them because they, they may have issues that they that they'll be working through surrendering and they may have, uh, you know, they may not they may not always uh, attack attack issues head on. They may kind of subtly and you may need to be the same way where you can't just be so driven, but you do need to be judgmental. <laughs> you know, you need to have higher wisdom and higher knowing you need to be judgmental and impatient with or kind of like impatient with because uh, they want you to be like working towards, I guess, like showing them how you can how you can fit into their life. Right. But at the same time, you need to be able to spend time like alone, you know, or or like not not really focused on them. You know, it's like you need to be able to do other things here because I get mercury energy, which is about like a multitude of moving knowledgeable analytics checking the temperature on a bunch of different things at one time. And, and Ishtar in this deck is about doing the same thing, using everything you have around you to basically make some level of success. And with, with my Mockingbird spirit, this is still that energy of like moving around. So this feels more airy than anything or more like up in the air. It's not really like anything's for sure. What you would need, they would need you to do is to be very forgiving because judgment sometimes can be very forgiving. And it comes from uh, seeing things from a higher perspective, you know, what I mean having higher uh, higher knowledge or higher information and with this uh, time to for healing This is that uh, this is crown chakra energy right here So I know that you would need to be tapped in and you would need to be able to follow divine inspiration or divine wisdom in terms of like when messages are coming you would basically need to be able to convey to them uh, a higher a higher or deeper message a higher or deeper um how can I put it? A higher or deeper reason for the connection. That's what it would need. Because, you know, with judgment here, this would give it like um, a higher reason. You know, it's a higher blessing. This is a blessed union or a blessed decision. You know what I mean? It's protected. And so they would, you would need to give them the impression that this is, is bigger than just physical. Like this needs to be, uh, you know, spiritual in a sense. You know, it needs to have them, you know, feeling as if, uh, we're connecting on another level outside, maybe a soul level, a soul tie, because, it, you know, Ishtar, like I said, gives that energy of needing to be a savior, of wanting to uh, devote yourself to someone, you know, and devote to a, a cause or a situation, you know, and so you would need to be very vulnerable with them. You need to, to learn your vulnerabilities because what you would need is, is a relationship. They want commitment. They want emotional commitment. You know, but they may struggle with being present. They need people who will be present, you know, so that way they can recognize the love around them and not be so stuck in their head. All right. Now, this is people who will be 
uh, going through tough times. This could be a person who's going through some type of tough time or a transformation. And they, that's why they would need you to save them because they're probably constantly going through a transformation maybe. I don't know. Or at this time, they're just probably going through a, a, a transformation because it says, don't let your issues fuck it up. So if it's not them, it's you possibly going through a transformation and you're needing to not be so defensive or not put up your walls and your boundaries to keep things. Because this is this would be about uh, being impatient. Seven of Pentacles could be about being impatient and being judgmental, you know, and being very critical because with the Eight of Pentacles, you could be very critical as well, you know, and that could be the energy that, that may be... Um, might turn them on for real if you're kind of judgy but yet forgiving you know and 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 give off the energy of being impatient because what it does is it causes them to make a move it causes them to make a decision you know what i mean because with the uh the thinker here what they would need you to do is to get them outside of their head and recognize that love is around so with the seven of pentacles and reverse you would more so make them realize that you're about to give up you know what i mean and make a decision like huh I'm just going to focus on work, you know what I mean? Or I'm going to focus on something practical that matters and give it up and release it. And this would allow them to transform and come into you, come towards you. They would want to more so pursue you. All right. So you would just pretty much give it up. You know what I mean? You need to be able to talk. You need to be able to communicate and you need to be able to emotionally commit, you know, and at the same time, give off the energy of wanting to protect them or save them. You know what I mean? And then and at the end, because this is air energy, this is definitely air or Virgo energy because it's like, pfft, like it's backwards. Like, why would, why would I be coming in? I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say why would I, but that's, that's what they want. They want you to be present. They want you to come in and be like the savior and a lover and like, you know, really emotionally in depth and wanting to like merge with them and, and, and make it like a soul tie. And, you know, they want, you, you know, and if this is, if this is like a, a business, they would still want you to feel like you guys were meant to be a team. They would want you to be very present. They want you to be the more responsible one. They want you to be the one that breaks down uh, the relationship, that actually details the relationship on how it should be, creates the routine, creates the schedule. They want you to be the more aff affirming person, the one who speaks life into them. They want you to speak love into them. They want you to be very romantic, very loving. You know, they want you to be very forgiving and at the same time have very a very good choice of judgment. They want you to be a, a hard worker. They would need you to be very, uh, very keen with details because they're thinker. And so you have the eight of pentacles. So you need to be very keen with details yet at the same time, um, kind of like patient, just very patient, you know what I mean? Very patient and, and not really, uh, pushing the issue. You know what I mean? More kind of like surrendering the fight, you know what I mean? Recognizing where you're putting in too much and they would want you to like fall back. So that way they could pursue you. Because you guys would match in the sacral chakra and the sacral chakra is about getting your desires. And so they may change off and on because it seems like air energy. So you may, you, you have to give them the same energy of being off and on. And this, this actually kind of, you know, it intrigues them. It intrigues them. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's what I got. So let's look at, um, let's look at your advice. Your advice says affirmation, be aware of your language and thoughts. The most powerful statement you can ever make, think, or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life as we acknowledge the divine order of life. The universe responds with ever greater blessings. You are a powerful creator. All you say and think resonates through the heart of creation, and creation responds accordingly. Surrender positive. Surrender. I'm sorry. It's another, it's another card. Surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet. For all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. And I just started judging too. I was like, yo, why would they want me to do it that way? But yeah, that's it. There's a lot of chaos here because that's what it feels like. It's like, what? Why would you want them to? What? But... You know, it is just is what it is. And so if you want to seduce this person, this just is what it is. Okay. So pile three, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Noonie and this is Leo in the third house.
Boom, pile four. So, pile four. How does this person's life be seduced? This person likes to feel protected, likes to feel safe. They're very slow to act. So they want you to be, um, you know, in a sense patient, but they want you to be ready on guard, not on guard, like in a negative way. They want you to kind of like um, be in an energy of like wait, not waiting, but like um, hopefulness. Okay, so optimistic energy is what they're gonna really want. They're gonna really want you to kind of like be optimistic and yet very confident within yourself. All right, they want you to have like a higher understanding of, of relationships or a higher understanding of disappointment, like letting disappointment roll off your back because they may they may come off a bit harsh. All right, so you, this could be a Sagittarius, this could be a Virgo, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this could be an Aquarius, this could be a Leo. So they want you to be able to deal with uh, communication. All right, harsh communication. They want you to be able to give as well. They want you to be an initiator, someone who's uh, very emotional, uh, emotionally in depth, very emotionally in touch with their feelings. Um, this person wants you to be very adventurous as well, you know what I mean? And ready at the drop of a dime to basically be adventurous, you know what I mean? They really want you to be that because with poison reverse, this is like feeling like you're not ready to take an opportunity. You know, and that's, and that's what they would want you to be like. They would want you to kind of like be um, unsure if this is what you would want because this would make them to this would make them come closer to you by being unsure if this is what you want all right so uh, you may be in the energy of okay you're gonna need to be in the energy of, of, of sovereignty all right and this is of choosing your own way you know what I mean choosing your own emotional feelings so keeping your mess your mess and not really worrying about uh, how other people are perceiving you, you know what I mean? Because they're going to be that same type of person. If you're dealing with these people, they're going to be kind of blunt. They're going to be coming off uh, almost rude, you know what I mean? As a, you know, it's like just straightforward, you know. And so you're, you're, they don't want you to try to change them. You're not going to be able to change them, you know. But you are going to need to be in the energy of sometimes, you know, kissing their feet a little bit, you know what I mean? Because with the star energy, I get them more of like wanting you to like grovel sometimes for them you know what i mean giving that that feeling of of maybe superiority for them you know and it's not like because i'm looking at the like a star staring at the queen of sword or the queen of wand i mean the queen of coins all right and she's like you know the queen of coins is like she's in a power stance and so this is seeming like they would want you to appear to them or kind of like appease to them you know give them this level of authority make them feel powerful because they're going to want to protect you they're going to want to be uh, someone who nurtures you, you know, they're going to want to be your companion. They're going to always want you to be with them. And so you would need to kind of like want to be a companion, want to be a ride or a, a tag along because they're, they're, they're out to do things. They want to move. They want to get things done. They're always ready at, you know, at the drop of a dime. So they want you to be ready as well. So you need to be that type of person as well as, uh, you know, uh, living in an abundant life. You need to, uh, not really worry too much about, uh, what what isn't being done or what isn't like you kind of need to be able to like just kind of go with the flow of life they really want you to just be at, at flow and at ease with life but you need to be very practical as well because the queen of pentacles is here and that's about practicality it's about taking care of businesses taking care of responsibilities taking care of self health you know what i mean um what are you doing chill out girl um they want you to be very easy to get along with though you know, free spirited. They want you to be very smart, very communicative, very attractive as well, but you know, not super attractive. You can just be, well, I got Leo energy. So they want you to be attractive at least, but you don't have to be, you know, well, we got all the flans here now. So yeah, they want you to be attractive. All right. They want you to be attractive. They want you to be in shape of some sort, some type of shape. Your body needs to be decent because I'm seeing a lot of body here. So your body needs to be decent. And Virgo does rule the body and rules health. So that's what they would want you to be, you know, that would be needing to be a key factor here. And this is kind of giving me that medical look, that medical, um, the medical snakes look. So this could be that too as well. You know, this could be a Gemini. I forgot. This could be a Gemini that you're dealing with as well because it's a Gemini energy, Mercury. So they could be in that energy as well of, of uh, you know, needing you to communicate, you know, and being given that, that equal give and take with communication. So if they reach out, they want you to reach out. If they reach out, they want you to reach out. You know, it's the duality here. You know, they want you to understand life's lessons and life experiences and not be so judgmental because with earth lessons here, I get more about uh, reality and not living in a fantasy world because Virgo can be very critical of the world and very critical of themselves. And so you need to be a person who watches their words, watches how you say it, 
you know, or when you say it, because they're very blunt too. And so the, the right words, so you need to be both ways. You need to be sharp with your words, but you need to be very, very well timed with your words. You need to have tact, all right? Because you need to be able to, to say what you want to say and be snippy with it. But at the same time, you need to watch what you're saying when you say it, you know, because they have a potential of blowing up as well. Um, you may need to, uh, so you definitely have to be independent. That's for sure. That's why I get here is, is definitely independent and you need to be able to deal with regret and resentment really well. You need to be able to get over resentment and disappointment quick. That's, that's what you need to get over real fast. Regret and disappointment and, and resentment. You need to get rid of that super quick. All right. You need to have hopes and aspirations. And in terms of uh, the way of seducing them through the star, I would say that you need to give them some type of dream, some type of, uh, it would like sell them, sell, I mean, you know, I could say sell them a dream, but not like in a negative sense, but give them this, this idea of what it can be like. This is like a fairy tale in a sense of, you know, where we can be, what this can be, you know, and with the sun energy here, you know, I would feel more like uh, allowing them to take the, 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 the lead sometimes, allowing them to shine. Uh, you know, sharing the sunshine with them, sharing the success with them. Sometimes the sun in reverse can be dimming to fit in. But in this sense, I would look at it as allowing them to, to you know, get some, some shine and some, and some rapport in this moment too, allowing them to express themselves and allowing them to seem like they're their leader, you know, or like they're the, the sunshine in, in, the, in this whole dynamic. You want them to feel attentive, but yet not feel like you're changing them. You know, you want them to feel like you're relating to them and like you're relatable. And like you can understand what they're saying and be very detailed and very good at holding conversation. And you need to be able to just be a friend as well. You know, you need to be able to fit into their life and just know how to navigate life and deal with the bumps and bruises or the disappointments or the letdowns regularly and learn from all previous heartbreaks or disappointments. With this, nothing is wasted. You need to learn from that. You need to be a person who learns from that, but yet doesn't let that stop them from proceeding or moving forward. You know, with the star in reverse, you, you need to always have dreams or aspirations or goals, and you need to be able to share that with them. This is what's going to really seduce them by being able to share your dreams and aspirations and goals, as well as not trying to change whatever dreams or aspirations or goals they have. Instead, you allow them to be their own free person and you be who you are. And you guys can be alone. I mean, can be together, you know, separately being, you know, being independent, but yet together. You know what I mean? There's like an energy of being balanced yet separate. You know what I mean? Because the Sagittarius is a free spirited energy. Virgo is very self-sufficient. Libra is, is a partnership. You know what I mean? It's very partner based, but they can sometimes be very sometimey. And so can Gemini. They can be partner based, but they can be very sometimey. And so can Leo and the Taurus and the Capricorn and Aquarius. Is those are very sometimey type of people. Some, you know, they come off as like, you know, wanting to be deep and wanting to be loved, but needing a lot of independence and needing you to be ready when they're ready, you know? And so, you know, sometimes some, some Capricorns, cause there's like three versions of Capricorns I heard, you know, and there's, I thought it was, I heard it was like a couple different versions of each sign, you know what I mean? But I haven't got that far into it yet. So I'm not even going to go that far into it, but I just was going to say about Capricorn is just that, uh, Capricorns are having three different types, right? You know, some of them can be a bit, uh, outgoing, more Sagittarius based, some could be more loving, you know, more cancer based. And then some can be more Aries like, you know, more like uh, just getting things, you know, my way, my way, stubborn, you know, hardcore almost, you know. So this one is here is more like, you know, they're wanting to be like Sagittarius, like, you know, very optimistic, very outgoing and just ready for whatever. And you need to get over disappointment in order to get what it is that you want, not letting an opportunity or a situation that didn't plan out how you expected it to stop you from getting what it is that you want never losing, you know, pretty much never losing, you know, it's almost the energy of never losing because I'm always growing. So they, so in order to seduce them, you would need to show that disappointments and letdowns or failures don't stop you from going after what you want. You know, so if you're like courting them, then you would need to show that even when they're like not acknowledging you or showing you all the attention that you would like, that it's not going to stop you from coming forward or moving after them or going after them. You know, they want you to be reliable, so you would need to have, you know, money, you know, for sure, but you need to be independent, right? You need to be independent and you need to be able to let them come in sometimes and be the show. Let them, you know, show themselves, let them be this, the wild spirit in it. So the way you would need to communicate is in a way that's like very friendly, but very down to earth, very practical, something that they can 
talk about, something that can keep their attention, make it about something that matters to them because this is a practical matter. This is Virgo energy, so it has to be in something that matters, something that makes sense. So you would need to start off with talking about um, you know, maybe real life situations, schooling, work, a mission, you know, stability, the body, you know, what I mean, something, something like, you know, taking care of your health or, you know, what I mean, just something that you recognize that was very deep because lessons is here. So Sagittarius is about learning a lot. So they would like you to be able to teach and be able to explore and to have a lot of information and to know what you're talking about and to be able to do it in a way that is very theatrical and very charming and very warm and outgoing. You know what I mean? So here's your advice. It says balance. Difference is a necessary part of human evolution and everything in life is comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists because of because of darkness, we are able to perceive light. Both are necessary. Don't eat my beer. Don't eat my beer. So, pile four. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney. This is Cindy. And we're out.